So I had a long layover in New York, 19 hours of free time. Instead of sitting in the airport, I decided to make a visa and explore as much as I can. In this video, I will show you what you can see in New York in less than one day. I can't believe myself, guys, but I am in New York. Oh my god damn days! Bear in mind that I arrived after a long way and sleep was needed, so really I had just about 8 to 10 hours to explore the city, counting that I gotta leave some time coming now? in and out of the airport. Okay, looks like it's over there, the rooftop. So if... View from hostel's rooftop was pretty decent by the way, I mean, look at this. Morning guys! Today we are heading to Manhattan, see Times Square, Empire State Building and so on and so on. It's a hotel where I'm staying. I will show you a little bit later. We are heading to underground and then I see you in a Times Square. You remember those yellow caps? See? Then you can see you're in a New York. I did a couple of checks and it looks like the best thing is to start from Times Square and then head towards South so you can explore the whole way and then you can end up with a statue of liberty one of the craziest things in the world you barely see anyone at this time 6 a.m. in the morning New Yorkers just running to work so from another side actually it's quite a good idea to explore place at this time I still can't believe myself that I'm heading towards Times Square. <laughs> That's crazy! That's crazy, guys! Just behind me, how shiny it is! How bright it is! Oh my days! Uh, 6 o'clock in the morning is not the best time to come. You actually need to come during afternoon, like 5, 6, 7 o'clock p.m. Right now, it's pretty quiet. Uh, nothing much happens here, just people go to work, but other than that, I have not much time and this place is incredible, for real. It does have a London vibe, for sure, for sure. As I used to live in London, it feels like I'm in Piccadilly Circus, but like, 20 times bigger look so huge it's like incredibly huge man <laughs> damn I don't know who is that guy Father Duffy do you have any idea who is Father Duffy? if yes leave the comment down below because I have no idea but this dude is just in, in the center point of Times Square so he's probably a very important dude I love it. I honestly just love it. It's so huge. <laughs> it's so colorful. I love it. I do love it. When I was flying to New York, uh, I was sitting close to one guy from US and uh, we had a little chat. He actually told me about one thing which I can try here right now. He said to look for Marriott Times Square and if you go inside the hotel, they have huge glass uh, escalator where you can hop in and go all the way up with a nice view. So what I will do right now, I will pretend that I live in Marriott and uh, I will just try to go inside. Marriott? Marriott? That one, yeah? Gonna go inside and try to go all the way up. It looks like it doesn't work. If I'm pressing number 45, I need to use the card. Yes! Okay, it doesn't go any further. <laughs> Unlucky. 
that Empire State Building. We're gonna cross the road, turn left. In 1624, Dutch colonized New York, but actually, why I feel that it's so similar to United Kingdom, especially to London, because after Dutch people, actually English people took over and they named this place New York, so you can literally see and feel vibe of England everywhere around the street, so that's why. This boy is super huge. Like, look, the size of me and the size of this building. Oh my days. Crazy, crazy ass building. I wanna go to the south part of Manhattan to take a ferry which is free. And uh, if I will make it, that will be a huge tip for you guys not to spend hundreds of dollars to see Statue of Liberty so you can do it for free. And if I will make it, you will see it in this episode. So make sure to subscribe to the channel and like this video. We're gonna move forward. By the way, it smells of weed almost everywhere. Every single corner you pass by, there's someone smoking a joint, for real. I'm always lucky with reconstruction. So I just arrived to Flat Iron Building and guess what? It is under reconstruction. Overall, first impression of New York is that it's a London on steroids. As I used to live in UK and I've spent a couple of years in London, I see a lot of similarities, so I don't feel myself lost in the city. Yes, infrastructure is made differently, but as any other progressive city, it's pretty easy to get along with it. Moving a little bit further from the town, you can see the change straight away. It uh, gets more messy, more rubbish on the floor, less tourists, obviously. That's a Highland Park. Spoke to a couple of people. It looks like I'm not missing anything if I'm not going up north. And this walkway is actually just a quiet walkway, so if, you, if you're like living somewhere up so and you need to go north it's a pretty cool place just to be like kind of away from the chaotic streets of New York from park you can actually see Empire State Building uh, you see that tiny little thing that's Empire State Building like in Metro you don't even need to buy a ticket as you can use your card which is very convenient Honestly, still not sure what it is. Of course, everybody knows about 9-11. That was a huge tragedy. And uh, it happened in 2001, actually. I also remember it. And I will remember it till the rest of my days. Because something happened in my life as well. Exactly at the same moment. Which is pretty weird. So at that time, I was a little kid. Uh, and I was training kickboxing. So um, like a couple of times a week, I was driving with a train towards town center. On the way back, same day, and actually at the same time, on 9-11, I was driving on a train. Some woman, she tried to cross the rail before the train and she didn't make it. So the train actually cut the legs of that woman and so obviously we stopped. I went out from the train and I have seen half of the body. She was still alive, she was screaming, but without legs, which left a pretty huge mark in my memory. And the same time, the same day, when I made it towards my home station, my mom actually, she met me up and I was like, why do you meet me? She said like, uh, there is something happened in the world and uh, she told me about 9-11. So imagine it was like a double shock for me. That's why I will remember it to the rest of my days. It's not a place to smile and laugh and like be happy because yeah, there's a huge tragedy happened here, a huge one, which impacted the whole world. I'm not sure if I will make it to Statue of Liberty. Uh, now I'm heading to Brooklyn's Bridge, one of the oldest bridges and most famous as well. The price is pretty affordable, like it says magnets, keychains and so on and so on for one US dollar. I'm gonna take this one. And 
and we are getting closer to financial heart of New York, Wall Street. Bull of Wall Street is located just in front of me and uh, tradition is you need to touch the testicles of that bull so it will give you a lot of money and luck. It seems like I'm not gonna do it. I don't have time to stay in such a queue. I'm heading towards one ferry terminal which might be free and you can see a Statue of Liberty for free. That will be a huge pro tip so you can save a lot of cash. Yes, that's the place. Uh, let's try to get in. It goes every half an hour and looks like it goes now. Ferry is absolutely for free for every single one to use. It goes from one side of the river to another side and luckily you can see Statue of Liberty. Yes, it doesn't stop and it doesn't come close to it, but if you hold a camera and have a zoom lens, you still can make some bangers. Even iPhone 15 with 5x zoom will do. So now the most difficult part starts. I actually need to exit this ferry and then I need to try to hop towards the next one at the same time. If I will miss it, then I will have to wait another half an hour, which I cannot afford myself because I'm running out of time. I know my mama proud. Everybody fine, bro. This shit took some time, bro. Finally get my shine on. Metro! Easy, we made it. Way back is the same. You hop on a ferry and have a wonderful trip once again, absolutely for free. Make sure to use this option and it will save you hundreds of bucks. So pretty much that's it. It takes one hour for the trip. If you are lucky and you don't have to wait for another ferry to return. It goes every half an hour each way. All you have to do is come to the terminal, hop in into the ferry. We're out here fighting for our contract. Hey! We're out here fighting for our contract. I have no idea what's happening, but it looks pretty impressive. Wait, 10 US dollars for this. I will quickly show you the hostel itself. So they have a kitchen, place to eat, a uh, room for over there, plus a huge place to work, uh, reception, and bars over there. Actually, very clean. So, my honest suggestion for you guys if you're gonna stay in New York. So, with this said, I'm finishing my episode from New York. I hope you liked it. I hope you got some useful information. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, like this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.